Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here again and in this tutorial we will see the different options in the tools toolbar in the part design workbench. Let's go ahead and open up a new part and this is the toolbar which we are going to discuss right now. So to discuss that let's insert two new bodies and let's make it in work object and let's first create a simple three simple objects let's come out of the sketch select the sketch and do a padding and similarly let's insert two different other objects so now we have three Let's create another one. Now we have three different objects which is inserted in three under three different part bodies. Sometimes when we work, we need to focus on only one particular part body. For example, in this case, I'm working on part body and now if I click on this you can see that even though you're not you're in a part level and you don't have uh, the part or any other parts in certain assembly it's just an independent part and you're able to see only one the part that we are going to work on this majorly affects uh, when you are working on a large project which has a lot of parts being inserted similarly in this so let's exit that and let's see sometimes we can also change the invert object over here and another thing that's the datum so datums sometimes is really handy so in this case let's firstly try to create a plane from offsetting at uh, 40 so we have a plane here and this plane is offsetting 40 mm from the surface now let's create another plane by enabling the datum and let's go ahead and create another plane which is at 60 mm now if you click on OK, you'll be able to find that the second plane that we created has a kind of symbol here with a red mark. It means that that particular plane is a datum. So what we understand from a datum is a datum do not have a parent. So if you see, if you go and see the parents and children, you'll be able to find that this plane was created from the surface of a pad but this one doesn't really have a parent because this is a datum plane so sometimes you have to create a datum plane because uh, there are several cases for example uh, if we if we work on a, a bigger project and for example every element that comes after creating this plane is dependent on this plane and if this plane is dependent on something which is not uh, a constant element or uh, something which varies for example I, I keep changing uh, this surface or this element thickness so this the reference keep changing so the whole element keeps changing so if I don't want that to be changed, then it's better for me to go for the datum plane, which is uh, another option. And I do not have to worry that the uh, location of the plane or the offset of the plan is, plane is going to change once I create it. So those are the two differences. So that's all about some uh, tips about that comes from the tools toolbar in KTV5. I hope you enjoyed and uh, please subscribe keep subscribing my channel and keep spreading spreading my uh, videos and keep asking me doubts and i'll just try to uh, answer them all as much as i can thank you so much for watching